Hello guys and um, welcome back to another part in my analog DIY synthesizer project. Uh, this is kind of a bit of an introduction to one of my tutorials which I'm going to do and this is regarding um, something called a wave folder. Now I don't know the exact 100% technical reasons how this happens but what I'm guessing for what I've heard and for what I've read is basically what we use is um, some transistors and they have a saturation level and when the waveform hits the saturation level rather than completely distorting and squaring off the waveform bends back on itself to create um, extra extra well depending on the, it depends on your input shape waveform is we start to introduce um, a more varied wave shape and Consequently, we introduce new harmonics, which is also um, very useful for creating timbers that you probably wouldn't have otherwise. Um, what I normally do, or what I've, what I've kind of been advised, I kind of do this now out of practice because it just sounds better, is normally drive the wave folder with um, basic waveforms, as you can see, like this uh, triangle we have here. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm, tr I'm trying to do this one-handed, so. I'm going to lock the CV from the Mini Brute onto hold and this is the output from my synthesizer as we can see. And it I have installed it post filter for wave folding so we go VCOs into the filters out from the filters into the VCA now the VCA, the amount of VCA drive that goes into the wave folder kind of determines how much of a fold you're going to get. The more, the higher the amplitude, the more of a fold you're going to get. I've recently um, also employed a LFO, one of the LFOs to the um, to the VCA as well. So that way we get um, a bit of a dynamic. We can use some dynamics. On the wave folding, I'll just sort of show you the basic. This one is based on the, I think it's called the CGS Lockhart. It's not as elaborate as anything like the Topo Brillo wave folder. It's just a quite quite a very basic, very small part counts, very easy to build uh, wave folder, which uses two transistors and a single op amp, and that is it. Now, what I have done, I kind of thought to myself, hmm, let me try something. So. Basically, what I've I've done is built two stages of it. So rather than just setting at one stage, I've built one wave folder, and then the output of that goes into the next wave folder, which is basically is I've just doubled the circuit, and that has given me extra bends in my wave. So if we look at, and that's our triangle wave from VCO3. Let's just turn that down slightly, and then I have a. As you can see, we have a and then the mount knob. So that's our triangle wave. And then we bend the amount there. But we also have a wet and a dry blend, so we can go back to uh, we can go back to the normal state of the waveform. And as we can see, that introduces sort of sort of slightly. FM sounding tones. Let's put that on an up. So give me hands free. But my, my only gripe at the moment with this particular wave folder is it's quite it's quite noisy and when I say noisy it's quite a lot of hiss from the transistors I'm not too bothered about that to be honest with you there's a lot of tweaks and stuff I can still further on make um, and let's just uh, as we can see there at the moment I have an LFO on uh, the amplitude modulation. So we get that dynamic 
unfolding as we uh, introduce, or should I say bring in more voltage from the amplitude from the VCA. So it's very useful if you sort of you've just got a uh, let's just turn that LFO off. If say for instance you've just got a single um, oscillator to actually bring in some extra harmonic. Let's just turn the drive down a bit from the VCA. And let's add another oscillator triangle wave. Slap the hold on again. And bring in more drive from the VCA. And don't forget on top of that I've got all the other um, timber all shaping options, all the modulations and FM etc. Let's turn the FM on, it be interesting to hear. Let's see. Add a bit of chorus. I'm getting some really, really nice aggressive tones, and like I said. One of my, I wouldn't say my next tutorial specifically, but one of my tutorials will basically be going through the schematic on how to build this. As I said, this is a post, this is a post um, VCF WAV file, the post VCF in, in fact. So we can do our timbral shapings before then. I mean, oops, people normally employ them before. It would have been nice to be able to have a switch post and pre, but oh, I could go too over the top with this project to tell you the truth. So yeah, and that's about it. Anyway, thank you for watching guys. Uh, leave comments and questions if you have them in the uh, relevant section. Give me a thumbs up if you're liking this one and subscribe if you're new to this channel and you haven't already done so and hope to catch you guys all very soon. Alright, thank you for watching people.